Welcome back to the channel once again. This is the best and only university admissions inquiry channel on YouTube. So kindly click on the subscribe button and be well informed on all the entry requirements, available programs and advice about your favorite university applications in the country. Over the past few weeks, the Kwam Nkrumah University of Science and Technology officially advertised for the 2021-2022 admissions entry where application forms will be sold until the month of November 2021. So I'll urge all applicants not to rush with their applications but rather take time to carefully read the available programs of interest, the entry requirement for the programs as well as its cutoff point for the last academic year before you can give yourself a green light to start your application. So what happened during last year's online application was that Weeks before admissions, the university will indicate on some of your selected programs as disqualified. And this implies that you were disqualified for that program because it required some specific elective subjects or grades which you did not qualify for and you decided to ignore and apply for that program. And an example is a program like the Bachelor of Science in Architecture of which an applicant must have elective mathematics which is mandatory alongside some other specific electives from the technical, general arts, general science, as well as the visual arts. And if you miss out on these specific elective subjects, the university will automatically render your program selection as disqualified. So please sit tight and watch the video from the beginning to the end and understand how the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology calculates the aggregates of applicants showing various samples of WASI results and the appropriate programs one can apply with such results. So if you have never visited the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, you can simply use Google and type KNUST for short. And the official homepage for the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology is knust.edu dot gh and it's officially announced for the information of prospective applicants and the general public that the e-voucher for degree topper programs of study at the university for 2021-2022 academic year is now open so let's click on the apply now it takes us to further announcements for wasi ssc advanced level mature abce gbce and IB applicants. And there's also information on the seal of the e-voucher for the online application. And the point of seal of the e-voucher is being sold at all Ghana's regional post offices and is going for 220 cities for Ghanaian applicants and $150 for foreign applicants. Applicants are required to submit two copies of the online application and any other relevant document. And all completed applications should be submitted by post EMS, DHL, UPS or FedEx to the Deputy Registrar, Academic Affairs, Komase, Ghana. And the deadline is also stated which is on the Tuesday, November 30th, 2021 with the exception of matured applicants who are to submit on or before Sunday, October 31st. And you should also take note that the university is not going to accept any hand-delivered application. There is also information of available programs at the Obwase campus, as well as top-up programs. And applicants are also to take note of these following important messages before you can go ahead and apply online successfully. So let's quickly go and check out the admission requirements as well as the cutoff point for all programs being run at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So this is the official admissions brochure for KNUST showing the entry requirements and guidelines for selecting undergraduate program for the 2021-2022 academic year. So the admissions brochure contains all the available programs, entry requirements, and the cutoff points, which is very important and should serve as a guide when you are applying for any program at the university.
So the basic entry requirements for an applicant for admission to a degree program in the university must have credits in three WASI SSE core subjects, which includes English language, mathematics, and integrated science, and credits in three WASI SSE elective subjects or its equivalent relevant to the chosen program with an aggregate of 24 or better. And you should take note that the university only accepts E1 to C6 for WASI or A to D for SSE and does not accept D7, E8, and F9 for any admissions purposes. It's also worth noting that the three core subjects are prerequisite for all programs of study at the University of Science and Technology. So let's quickly scroll down to the cutoff point for all the available programs at KNUST. And the cutoff point is grouped into colleges. There is a College of Agricultural and Natural Resource, the College of Arts and Built Environment, the College of Engineering, the College of Health Sciences, the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, and the College of Science, as well as cutoff points for available programs at the Oboase campus. So please find time and read the admissions brochure thoroughly before applying online to the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So when you are satisfied with the program that you want to apply and you meet its entry requirements as well as the cutoff points, you quickly head to the apply now button and start your application. And you are also to take note of this following announcement that any applicant who makes any form of solicitation to any person or group of persons for the purpose of influencing or gaining admissions into the university does so at his or her own risk so we click on the apply now we enter our serial number pin and log in to start our application i have a full video on how to apply to the Kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology online from the beginning to the end where you have to print out your proof of application so you can check out that video if you are having any challenges applying online so we start by looking at a home economics applicant with grades B3 in social studies, a B3 in English language, A1 in core mathematics, a B2 in integrated science, a B2 in biology, an A1 in food and nutrition, a B3 in management and living, and a B2 in general knowledge and arts. So using the English language core mathematics and the integrated science alongside three of the best elective, this applicant's overall aggregate will sum up to aggregate 12 and will qualify for related programs like the Bachelor of Science Packaging Technology which cut off at aggregate 24 as of last academic year, the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Human Resource Management at the Oboasi campus which also cut off at aggregate 24. The Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing and International Business, which cut off at aggregate 12 at the main campus and aggregate 24 at the Oboasi campus. The Bachelor of Science, Hospitality and Tourism Management, which cut off at aggregate 13 as of last academic year. The Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting and Sculpture, which cut off at aggregate 19. The Bachelor of Arts, Integral, Rural Arts and Industry, which cut off at aggregate 17. The Bachelor of Arts, Publishing Studies, which cut off at aggregate 15. The Bachelor of Science, Metal Smithing and Jewelry Technology, which cut off at aggregate 21. The Bachelor of Science, Textile Design and Technology, which cut off at aggregate 17. The Bachelor of Science, Fashion Design, which cut off at aggregate 16. The Bachelor of Science Ceramic Design Technology, which cut off at aggregate 24. And the Bachelor of Science Disability and Rehabilitation Studies, which cut off at aggregate 17 as of last academic year. Moving on to another sample result of a home economics applicant who obtained an A1 in Social Studies, 
a grade B2 in English language, a grade B2 in core mathematics, an A1 in integrated science, a B3 in biology, an A1 in management and living, a B2 in food and nutrition, and an A1 in economics. So using the English language, core mathematics, and integrated science alongside three of the best elective subjects, this applicant will obtain a total aggregate of aggregate 9 and will qualify for related programs like the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Human Resource Management at the Boise Campus, which cuts off at aggregate 24, the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing and International Business, which cut off at aggregate 12 at the main campus and aggregate 24 at the Oboise campus, the Bachelor of Science Hospitality and Tourism Management which cut off at aggregate 13, the Bachelor of Fine Arts Painting and Sculpture which cut off at aggregate 19, the Bachelor of Arts Integrated Rural Arts and Industry which cut off at aggregate 17, the Bachelor of Arts Publishing Studies which cut off at aggregate 15, the Bachelor of Science Metal Smithing and Jewelry Technology, which cut off at aggregate 21. The Bachelor of Science Textile Design and Technology, which cut off at aggregate 17. The Bachelor of Science Fashion Design, which cut off at aggregate 16. The Bachelor of Science Ceramics Design Technology, which cut off at aggregate 24. And finally, the Bachelor of Science Disability and Rehabilitation Studies, which cut off at aggregate 17 or as of last academic year. We move on to the business applicant who obtained a grade A1 in social studies, a grade B3 in English language, a grade A1 in core mathematics, a grade B3 in integrated science, a grade B3 in business management, a grade B2 in financial accounting, a grade A1 in principle of cost accounting, and a grade C4 in economics. So when we use the social studies, the English language and the core mathematics alongside three of the best elective, this applicant will obtain an aggregate of 11 whilst using the English language, integrated science and core mathematics alongside three of the best electives. This applicant will obtain an aggregate of 13. So these are some of the related programs the applicant is likely to gain admissions into. This applicant will qualify for the Bachelor of Science Agribusiness Management which was cut off at aggregate 17. The Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Human Resource Management option which was aggregate 10 at the main campus and aggregate 24 at the Oboise campus. The Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing and International Business, which was cut off at aggregate 12 at the main campus and aggregate 24 at the Oboise campus. The Bachelor of Science in Hospitality and Tourism Management, which was cut off at aggregate 13 at the main campus. The Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Accounting, Banking and Finance, which was cut off at aggregate 8 at the main campus and aggregate 20 at the Oboise campus. The Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Logistics and Supply Chain Management and the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Information Technology which were cut off at aggregate 11 on the main campus and aggregate 24 at the Oboise campus. The Bachelor of Arts Publishing Studies which was cut off at aggregate 15. The Bachelor of Science in Textile Design and Technology which was cut off at aggregate 17. The Bachelor of Science Fashion Design, which was cut off at aggregate 16. The Bachelor of Science Ceramics Design Technology, which was cut off at aggregate 24. And the Bachelor of Science Disability and Rehabilitation Studies, which was cut off at aggregate 17, all as of last academic year. So moving on to the next business applicant. This applicant obtained a grade B3 in social studies, a C5 in English language, a C6 in core mathematics, a C4 in integrated science, a B2 in business management, a D7 in financial accounting, a B3 in economics, and a C6 in elective mathematics. So what you must take note is that KNUST interprets 
all C4, C5, and C6 as a value of 4. So whenever you see C4, it is valued as 4. Whenever you see C5, it is valued as 4. And whenever you see C6, it's also valued as 4. So using the social studies, the English language, the core mathematics, alongside three of the applicant's best electives, which does not include financial accounting because it's a D7, this applicant will obtain an aggregate of 20. Whilst using the English language, the core mathematics, the integrated science, alongside three of the best electives, which excludes the financial accounting, this applicant is also going to obtain an aggregate of 21. So these are some of the related programs the business applicant is going to qualify to read. And there is the Bachelor of Science Business Administration Human Resource Management option at the Boise campus which was cut off at aggregate 24. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration Marketing International Business option which was also cut off at aggregate 24 at the Obuasi campus as of last academic year. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration Accounting and Banking and Finance option which is at the Obuasi campus that was cut off at aggregate 20. The Bachelor of Science in Administration, Logistics and Supply Chain Management and the Bachelor of Science in Administration, Business Information Technology which was cut off at aggregate 24 at the Obuasi campus. The Bachelor of Science Ceramics Design Technology, which was cut off at Aggregate 24. And the Bachelor of Science Metal Smithing and Jewelry Technology, which was cut off at Aggregate 21. We move on to the General Arts applicant who obtained a grade A1 in Social Studies, a grade B3 in English Language, a grade B2 in Core Mathematics. A grade B2 in Integrated Science, a grade A1 in Christian Religious Studies, a grade A1 in History, a grade B3 in Literature in English, and a grade A1 in French. So using the Social Studies, the English Language, and the Core Mathematics alongside three of the best electives, this applicant is going to obtain an aggregate of 9. Whilst using English Language, Core Mathematics, and Integrated Science alongside three of the best electives, this applicant will obtain an aggregate of 10. So some of the related programs this applicant is likely to gain admissions into is the Bachelor of Science Packaging Technology which was cut off at aggregate 24, the Bachelor of Arts Sociology which was cut off at aggregate 14, the Bachelor of Arts Social Work which was cut off at 14, the Bachelor of Arts English which was cut off at aggregate 24, the Bachelor of Arts French and Francophone Studies, which was cut off at aggregate 15. The Bachelor of Arts History, which was cut off at aggregate 18. The Bachelor of Arts Linguistics, which was cut off at aggregate 18. The Bachelor of Arts Media and Communication Studies, which was cut off at aggregate 13. The Bachelor of Arts Political Studies, which was cut off at aggregate 12. The Bachelor of Arts Religious Studies, which was cut off at aggregate 24. The Bachelor of Science in Administration Human Resource Management option, which was cut off at aggregate 10. The Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Marketing and International Business option, which was cut off at aggregate 12. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration Logistics and Supply Chain Management and Business Information Technology, which was cut off at Aggregate 11. The Bachelor of Science in Hospitality and Tourism Management, which was cut off at Aggregate 13. And finally, the Bachelor of Arts Publishing Studies, which was cut off at Aggregate 15. Moving on to the second sample results of a general arts applicant who obtained a grade A1 in Social Studies, a grade B3 in English language, a grade B2 in core mathematics, a grade B3 in integrated science, a grade B2 in geography, a grade C4 in government, a grade D7 in literature in English, and a grade B3 in social studies. So when calculating the final aggregate, using the social studies, English language, and core mathematics alongside three of the best electives this applicant will obtain an aggregate of 15 
while using the English language core mathematics and integrated science alongside three of the best electives which does not include literature in English. This applicant will obtain an aggregate of 17. So these are some of the related programs the applicant is likely to gain admissions into. There is a Bachelor of Science Packaging Technology which was set at aggregate 24, the Bachelor of Arts History which was set at aggregate 18, the Bachelor of Arts Geography and Rural Development which was cut off at aggregate 13 and may be considered for fee paying, the Bachelor of Arts Media and Communication Studies which was also set at aggregate 13 and may be considered for fee paying, the Bachelor of Arts Political Studies which was set at aggregate 12 and may be considered for fee paying, the Bachelor of Arts Religious Studies which was set at aggregate 24, the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Human Resource Management option at the Boise campus which was set at aggregate 24, the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Marketing and International Business option which was also set at aggregate 24 at the Oboise campus. The Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Logistics and Supply Chain Management and the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Business Information Technology option which was also set at aggregate 24 at the Oboise campus. The Bachelor of Science, Hospitality and Tourism Management which was set at aggregate 13 and may be considered for fee paying. And finally, the Bachelor of Arts Publishing Studies, which was set at aggregate 15 and may also be considered for fee paying. We move on to the third sample results of a general arts applicant who obtained a grade B3 in social studies, a grade D7 in English language, a grade C4 in core mathematics, a grade C6 in Integrated Science, a grade B3 in Economics, a grade B3 in Geography, a grade A1 in Government, and a grade B3 in History. So because this applicant obtained a grade D7 in English language, meaning he has not yet met the entry requirement for a degree program, the university will not be able to calculate the final aggregate. Thus, this applicant will not gain admission for any degree program at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology due to the D7 in English language, which is one of the major core subjects to gain admissions to read a degree program at the university. All applicants must take note that depending on the courses that you are selecting, the aggregate score may change because of the specific elective requirements for some of the programs. It is also important to take note that these cutoff points are for last academic year's admissions and it is just to serve as a guide when selecting your programs. So please stay tuned to the channel for more videos on KNUST. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the upcoming video.